Hello, this video is about the Grunfos Magna 3 BACnet IP CIM500 programming and connection with an Initech Omni controller. Well, first of all, we're going to note some of the settings we need here. Control mode on the pump, MO0. We need it to be in constant speed, which is counterintuitive because we're actually going to be driving the speed of it through BACnet, but that's the setting we need to give it. Operating mode MO1, uh, start is a 1, stop is a 2. BO0, we want to send it a 1 for bus control, which actually means BACnet control. Uh, speed AO0. So what we send out to it to control its speed. AI5, we're going to read the flow back in AI13. Um, this is a password for our uh, login to the controller. And now the first thing we've got to do is go to the CIM500 card and there's a rotary dial in the bottom right here. It's, turn it clockwise two ticks to the two and it'll be like 45 degrees down to the right pointing at it and it's hard to see but it's two clicks to the right from the default and then its default IP address is 192.168.100 or, or dot 1.100 Okay, so we've got to get ourselves on the right network here so we can talk to this thing. So the first thing is IPv4 settings. I'm on the 100 because that's our BACnet network. So we'll change that to 1. And I've got 245 here, so I'm not going to conflict with the IP address of the CIM500 card. Hit OK, close this out to make the changes take effect. That one got me yesterday. Um, and now I'm going to walk over to the pump and connect my Ethernet to the pump. All right. Plug the Ethernet into the right hand side of the card. Mark two in this drawing. I'm going to go to the controller dot one dot one hundred. First time you log into this thing, it takes a little bit of time. Sometimes you get a security warning. Once you get to this screen, you gotta log in for the first time. The default password is Grunfoss with a capital G. The new password. Now, you'd think you'd, the page should reload, you'd be logged in, but no, you've got to actually hit reload to see what you need to see now. And go to the BACnet protocol settings. So I'm using five digits. You need to keep the 227 because that's Grandpa's prefix. I've been using five digits, it works fine. My device name is uh, P16B, and I have to hit submit on this or it won't take those changes. Now I go to my network settings and I'm going to set the IP address of this thing to be on the BACnet network. Uh, 
and I have to go double check on my network diagram here. And its IP address is 12, its device instance is 37, so I've got that correct. And Gateway to the same network, gateway, Let's submit. Doesn't actually tell you if it's, if it's actually submitted or successfully or anything, no feedback. So one thing you can do is just reload the page and if it doesn't reload, you know it's taken a different IP address setting. Submit again here. Just make sure. There we go. It took it. So I'm gonna unplug my computer from the CIM card and I plug in the Ethernet network connection to the CIM card. So it's on the back of the network. So now I'm going to go back into my IPv4 settings. I've connected to the BACnet network now. I'm going to set my computer to be on that network. And now if I go into that IP address that I just gave that pump, I can check. If it's working. Yeah, that'll be doing it for sure. Okay, I'm on now. Okay, you can see the pump now, so log in. All right, reload and check the backnet settings. It took the pump name and settings, so we're all good there. Now we'll go on to log into the controller. So 192 dot or 20 on this one. I've put a program on this uh, controller just to test it out, see if we get connection. A little dummy program for each one. Helps to not have too much working in the controller, just one thing at a time. Device is offline. Oh, there it goes. Now it's running already from other settings we've given it before. Actually it's taking that speed setting right now. So if we wrap it up to 100, we should see about 420 watts consumed, which is actually pretty good for how much flow we're getting. Uh, this updates every five seconds for this testing. There we go, 419 and 8.1. 13. Okay, there we go. Pretty good flow for 
how many watts we're burning. And that's everything. Any questions, shoot me a message from our website. I hope this helps. Have a good day.